guys, it is Tuesday morning and it's rainy and drizz like dreary out here. Apparently it's gonna rain all the way to the weekend every single day. <laughs> so today was the first day and I'm, of course my hair got wet. I have an umbrella but it got wet. So this is the first day I've like styled my hair myself. I have no product in my hair, um, but it's nice to know that if I wanna make it like more PC or like puff it a lot up, um, a little product and I would be able to do that. Um, I didn't curl it, nothing. All I did was blow dry it. it actually, I could have left it just blow dried, but I straightened it a little bit to get a little bit more definition. So um, it wasn't too hard to style, which, cause it's got a lot of layering and I'll probably still grow it out guys because I am crazy about like changing my hairstyles and I just get like, I don't know. Oh, I just get bored. I get bored and sometimes I just want to change. And for right now, this change is perfect for summer. It's lightweight, it's fresh and cute. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm heading off to work. You can see, let me show you what I'm dealing with. Lots of rain, lots of rain. Um, so I have a short work week though because of the holiday. I'm gonna take Friday off too. And then we'll have a, long, a longer weekend. So we'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And today's gonna be a good day, my friends. I've got a couple of placements coming through today. I've already talked to the candidates so they know what the offers are gonna be. So as long as the offers are what the company says they are, they're both taking them. And that's uh, same company we're getting two of my candidates. I'm so excited for both the company and the um, candidates. And the candidates are so deserving. So um, in today's times, you know, if you don't have a job right now, uh, we're heading into a big time recession. You need to get one. Um, I'm glad that I'm, I'm doing God's work a little bit in that space and helping helping people get jobs that really need them. So anyway, I am going to head off to work. I don't have my coffee this morning. I have a sugar-free strawberry lemonade, uh, Nature's Twist, I'm drinking um, because I'm trying to drink more liquid, like clear liquids. Um, I'm not good with drinking water. Anyway, um, I am going to get back on track with my videos as well. I have the last two of the Disney vlog just about edited, and then I'll be have that up, and then you'll get, um, I'll start putting the weekly vlogs back together that I've been filming but you haven't seen. So um, today I'm wearing this little sweater. Um, where did I get this? Daily Look? or No, maybe it was Transcend. You guys probably remember better than I do, but I think this little sweater came from Transcend. Now, it looks super cute without the sweater, but I can't wear it without the sweater to work. Um, so I have this little, um, I don't even know where this came from, this little tank top. And then I have a pair of khaki, like paper bag pants on. I'll put a picture up here. Um, I always put, when I work at the office, I usually put a outfit of the day up on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, head over there, it's Southern Yankee 15. All right, I'll see you at work. Good morning, guys. So it is Thursday. Um, I took off today and Friday and then obviously have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off so I have a five day week. I'm hoping to get some um, things done this week, which is why I took the days off. We're not going anywhere. Look at this sweet girl. Remember our little Gizzy girl. Your little baby Gizzy, the wobbly head. She's the sweetest. Anyway, so I just got out of the shower. I have no makeup on or anything yet. And I just got dressed and um, went ahead and blow dried and straightened. It is so much easier to do my hair this way. Like, like so, so much easier. So anyway, um, so I have some good news that I'm super excited about. Um, I don't know, it might've been a while since I talked about it in a vlog, but we have a feral cat that's about nine years old that is in my downstairs bathroom that Robert brought home. And we're not sure how this cat injured his paw or somebody injured its paw. Um, but the paw looked like somebody like dipped it in acid. It had no fur. It was just all skin bleeding and infected. And uh, we've went through over $500 now in medications and doctor's visits to try to save this cat from losing its leg. And we, I am so excited to say, have done that. This cat is not going to get his leg amputated, which is the best possible outcome and even better than that is we have a home for the cat. So they think this cat is a senior cat around nine years old. He's actually very sweet. Robert can pick him up. We can pet him. He's still, you know, like the other day he hissed at me. He's still, I mean, he's wild. He's a complete feral cat that was born outside and has been living outside for nine years. 
um, even the vet was able to hold them. The vet said that some cats just don't have a mean bone in its body and this one doesn't. Um, he's been a little bit afraid, but such a sweet boy. And I think he knows that we're not gonna hurt him. And he actually is a bobtail cat. Now, Robert took the cutest photo of him all curled up where he was in, in the way he was curled up. This is the first time we've seen it. I'll put it up here. The first time we've seen him do that, which means he's comfortable and he's not fearful and he, he was feeling good. Um, so, and the better news that I was getting ready to tell you is this kitty cat has a home and I am like just beside myself about this for him because you know, his plan was to go back and put him in the, we were going to put him back into the feral community with his, his siblings and things and his family. Well, we now have a place for this cat to live out the rest of his life in better conditions, never have to worry about the elements and food. Um, I had a lady contact me here from Virginia. Um, I went on uh, Operation Catnip and I put a picture of this cat and what we were doing to fix and take care of him. And also we got him fixed, so he's not gonna have any more babies. She has a, I think she said a 10 or 12 acre hobby farm here in Virginia. And she asked, she said she could take the cat on her farm. He can be a barn cat and be a mouser. And um, she has another, I think a female um, semi-feral, just like this one. And um, they can be buddies. So maybe he's gonna get a new little girlfriend after nine years. And um, so he'll be able to live out the rest of his days on this beautiful farm and just be taken care of. And I could not be happier about that. I'm just like, ah, oh, yes, way to go little bud. And uh, I think I told you he's a bobtail cat too. So he's a unique, he's a unique cat anyway. Um, so I'm hoping this weekend we'll be able to take the cat over um, to her farm and deliver him. And then uh, this morning I got up and I cleaned out the hummingbird feeders and refilled them with fresh hummingbird food because the hummingbirds are back. Although this week it's cold out there. Um, I wanted to give you, oh, I do want to show you one thing. So I had sprinkled poppy seeds and I'm just getting ready to like pull them out. They've, they've come up, but they haven't been blooming and I really am ready for some color in there and I may, I'm going to take some of the big ones out and transplant them in other locations, but I wanted to show you, and my creeping Jenny over here is doing great. I wanted to show you that the tiniest little poppy blooms that you have ever seen in your life. All right, hold on. Well, first let me show you this creeping Jenny. So um, my son got me this for Mother's Day with this really cool begonia. I don't know what kind of begonia, and I'm not really sure what these are either. I don't know if it's just a green filler. If you know, let me know. Um, but the creeping Jenny is starting to come over the sides. And then I have creeping Jenny in there. So once I get this back in the middle as the centerpiece on the deck, the creeping Jenny I'm going to keep in those pots. It'll all tie in. And these I got to plant. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you. I got to get out of here. Some of this stuff is ready to be out of here. All right, so these are the poppies that I self-seeded. And they're doing really great. You can see they're starting to get buds on them. I was looking. And can you see this? That, my friends, is the tiniest little poppy bud I've ever seen. Um, I think I saw one over here even. Yeah, I think these that's what these are. I'm not really sure. This might be something different. I don't know if, if this is a different type of poppy. It doesn't really look like a poppy to me. This looks like something different. I don't know what these are. So we'll have to see when those bloom. All right, so that is your Thursday morning update. I am watching the final day of the um, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial today and it's getting juicy it got juicy actually yesterday it's been juicy the whole time there's like been some funny witnesses some crazy witnesses most of the crazy witnesses have been on amber's side um but they had a tmz witness yesterday about who provided like who who was the person that got the videotape they didn't say who gave him the tape which we all assume is amber because it was on her phone she took it so if she didn't personally give it to him which she may not have to protect herself. She might have like I she may have sent it to somebody and then gave it to TMZ. But anyway, um, I'm watching that today. I've got a huge laundry list of things to do today. I am going to try to do a lot of filming and then um, and get ahead. I have an, a transcend here for you guys to do, which I'm excited to get into that. Um, my rocks box I'm wearing, so I'll show you that now. So I have. I have these earrings that I'm testing out. They're champagne, um, like a little. 
like a little bottle, like a, a flute of, of alcohol beverages with bubbly in it. It's got like little pearls for the champagne bubbles. They're cute. Aren't those so cute? So, so cute. These ones on the back here, um, when I was doing jewel scent, these are little rose gold flower. And when I was doing, when I was doing um, jewel scent, those came in like one of my candles and I just love these. These are adorable. There's little different shaped crystals in there, like baguettes and tear sh shapes. And then you've got the little, little pearls. So cute. And then I also am, I, I really like this. I'm leaning towards keeping this, except it's twisted. Is that right? There we go. So this is like a, a four leaf clover, um, lucky clover necklace with a big thick chain and a toggle. And then this is my Anna Luisa um, pearl necklace. Loving that combo together. Also, I've uh, been wearing this ring. Love this. Got this from Touchstone Crystal and it is such a bling bling ring. It was like, I think it was on sale. I hosted a party, so I got that. And then I got this little ring on. This is also, um, oh, let's, let me turn it. Hold on, let me get so you can see it. This is an older ring. Um, this one I actually got from Roxbox as well, and it is a pearl, a pearl ring, um, so you can see. Anyway, so, um, oh, I do have a bracelet on too, right here. This um, is actually a Park Lane bracelet. I thought it looked good with the um, the little um, dress I'm wearing. This is a little t-shirt dress um, in, I guess, an animal print or whatever. So, just a baby. Oh, you give me. Don't you give me. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. And I want to know if you guys are doing anything for the long weekend. Although by the time you see this video, you could just tell me what you did for Memorial Day weekend. Because... Um, I'm really behind. I did get the, the final two Disney vlogs, which I just put into one vlog. It was two days up. And then I had a copyright strike, which I have every time I've tried to put a video up, even though I've been trying to put music over it. It was like a two minute section I missed and they flagged it. So I had to put some different music. Haven't been able to preview it yet. I'll make that public. I had my first weekly vlog um, is being uploaded now as I speak. It, you guys, it'll be up by the time you see this uh, from like that week of like the, the last week of April. So that's going up. So we're going to start getting caught up on the weekly vlogs and then get to the point where, you know, you're seeing the vlogs in, in like the week after they, they've they happened because I'm like four weeks behind on the vlogs at this point. Um, so yeah, so that is um, happening today. I've got some gardening, but it's raining all week, I think until Saturday, maybe, maybe tomorrow. It's, I don't know. I, I, I want to get out and play in the garden. I have so much to do. I got these new um, sunflower solar stakes that I'm going to put down at the bottom garden. I need to fill up that bottom garden with the rest of the soil. I've got those tomatoes to put in there. I've got to trellis all the tomatoes. Um, I've got just piles and piles and piles of stuff to do in the house. Um, laundry. I've got all this laundry to put away, which is going to happen today because I can't stand looking at it anymore. But I just needed to be home, you know, like I needed to be home for a period of days with no kids. Um, I don't know if I'm having kids this weekend or not, but I at least have Thursday and Friday and Monday without children that I can get things done. So I will see you guys later. I've got a ton to do. And next thing I'm going to do is in a little bit here, film my makeup for the day. I have, I don't know what I wanna do, but I, I'm i not sure. I, I'm not gonna do a really colorful look because I'm wearing brown, you know, but um, I have a like coffee palette that I used once already yesterday from um, Sydney Grace I could use. And then, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might go to a color pop palette. Um, I've got an empty videos to do for the, for the other channel. I've got glossy box to do for this channel. Um, and fab fit fun box came in for this channel, the summer box. Um, I've got Ipsy box to do for the other channel. Um, I got a pair of two carat most night diamond earrings 
um, that I'm going to be showing with you, showing you guys shortly, which I'm, I might put those in today. They're beautiful. They came with a certificate of authenticity and the grade of the diamond. And mm, I'm really excited about those. So I will tell you about that soon. I also got a, um, like a hair removal device that you can use on your bikini line, your underarms, your face, wherever you have hair growing that you would like to stop it growing. And I've got to do an unboxing on one of my videos with that. I've got to take a look and see when I got to get that video up. And I've also got to learn how to use the device, but that's came in, um, just a ton, tons coming up. So I'll see you soon. Look guys, I got my very first raspberry. It's the golden raspberries. Um, there's more on there, but this is the only one that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'll let you know how it tastes was super good. I hope we get a lot more. Um, I'm excited about, um, I'm excited about years progressing as we start to be able to get to like where those, these bushes grow really large and we start going out there and getting like, you know, bushels of raspberries. That would be exciting. Um, that was really good. It was not tart. It was very sweet. I'm super excited. It was some kind of a golden yellow raspberry. Um, and the other one's leafing out for the first year. I don't expect anything from it this year, but hopefully next year. My tomato plants are going insane. I have um, one big tomato starting and I've got a bunch of little tomatoes. All my peppers are bloomed out. Um, I'll have to take you down there. They're, we might be going to Williamsburg today, Robert and I, and spending the day down there. I'm not sure if we're doing that today or tomorrow, but whatever day we don't do that, we're gonna work in the garden and then Monday, I'll have Grayson all day. So uh, that is the plan for the rest of this week. It's either one day is gonna be a full day of like gardening and cleaning the house up. And then one day is going to be, um, well, and I think today we're going to Williamsburg. So I do need to wash my face and get ready. Where we're going into dishwasher. I'm so excited about this. Look. So it's like all digital and very easy to use. Voila. Hopefully I'll get clean dishes now. Good morning. It's Saturday and I have just chores to do around the house. Let me set the beautifuls down. Um, I gotta get scissors. First thing we're going to do is get something for the tomatoes. They need some support. So that is the first order of business. I'm gonna fill up another flower bed and I have a couple more tomatoes to plant. Um, I gotta find scissors. All right guys, look at the difference in how much growth since I planted these things. So these are some cucumbers I planted. So we're gonna let these trail down. Peppers are doing great. Tons of buds all over them. Tons and tons of pepper buds. And then over here we have our tomato that is the biggest and getting ready to blush out and color up a little bit. Maybe today we'll see some color on it. Um, if I show Robert, he'll cut that and fry it as a green tomato. And then I got all of these over here. There's some more in here. I don't think this plant has any yet, but it's got a, it's got a bunch of buds, so it's doing good. Uh, these are four o'clocks and they get little, um, they get their flowers. There's a, there is assassin bugs. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's little assassin bugs like all over it. And I'm not sure why. Um, and then here's another one of those four o'clocks. I just sort of had them dotted. These are the Walla Walla onions. They're doing so great. They have like tripled and quadrupled in size since I have been out here.
gotta squeeze that part. Black part. We're having a little play date. With Ella and Grayson. Here, you gotta push. Put your foot on here. Ella still hasn't been able to figure that one out yet. And put your foot on here. Ready? And you push with your feet like that. And you push this one like that. He's like, this thing's dumb. I want to save you. That's broken. Did you see the face? That was a Drew face. I didn't bring one because I'm going to cut up. I have six million of them. You feel bad. She's been playing by herself for like an hour now. There's Kenzie. Oops. Yeah, and he just takes a dump. Here we come. Ball. Say ball. I need a cup. You need a cup? Yeah. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump, jump, baby. You want the ball in there? Ready, ready, go. Get it. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna be so dirty. You are gonna be so dirty. Oh. <laughs> Ball. Say jump, jump, jump. Ball. Let me throw you the ball. Here it comes. <laughs> Get you. He likes this thing, Kenzie. He likes this. Ready? Ball. <laughs> he said ball. And go show Kenzie the ball. You want to go take the ball to Kenzie? You want to put the ball in the water? Go put the ball in the water. You crazy baby. You crazy baby. <laughs> Just run it in circles. Okay. Oh, you found another one. Ready? Get it. Throw. Get that ball. Things to do, you big boy. Yucky, you want to get in the water now? You get it. Let's go get in the water. You're getting all dirty. <laughs> Dirty. Oh, only if you had, if I had this much energy. I wish I had this much energy as this boy has. One, two. <laughs> Somebody's in a little treat, the little playhouse that Ella's daddy made. Are you having fun? Grayson? Grayson, you having fun?
What you doing, little man? You gonna come out? Grayson, you gonna come out? Let's go. Don't tell me no. Grayson, you wanna get out now? You wanna get out? I have hiccups because I drink soda, which always gives me hiccups. I think I'm allergic. You got your cup? What you got? You gonna show Kenzie? Go show Kenzie what you got. What Play-Doh. Play-Doh. He's showing Play -Doh. you everything. Yeah. And po poking you in the face also. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Grayson. 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 That's going to pop him right in the head and knock him over. <laughs> now let's wipe up here. Go down the slide. No, he's more interested in picking up sticks and rocks and stuff. <laughs> Crazy. What you got? Oh, you got a, a nut. An egg, part of an egg corn. You going down the slide? I don't need my car anymore. You going to drive, Ella? When you get older, you going to drive a car? No. No? Why not? I is want to. will Grayson drive you around? No. Who will drive you around then? Cutco. Oh, she will? Yeah. Cutco. For the rest of, for the rest of your life? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cutco. Yeah. You going you too little to drive me? No, I'm not too little to drive you. Too big? Yeah. Why? You wanna go down? You no, go one shoe three? Get you. Oh, okay. She's gonna get you. Let's go down, ready? She's gonna catch you. Come on, let's go down the water. Say one, sit down, two. sit down. One, two, three. Whee! Go down the water. See if he'll do it on his, on his own. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Here, I'll get it. Oh, there it goes. Grayson, look. Hey, hey, hey. Grayson, look. Oh, that's neat. Oh. <laughs> He's like, will it work with the cookie? One at a time, baby. You want to go down slide again? Wait, I got more water for you. Oh, no. Are you mad? You got dirt on your toes? <coughs> Does that make you angry? <laughs> I see. You got to go in the bath. Oh. Come here. So dirty. You dirty boy. Mm. I see it. You want to get in the water and what, rinse it off? Well, rinse your feet off in the water. Come here. All right, go in the water and put your feet in the water. The water will clean it off for you. This way, buddy. This way. Go by Kenzie. No. We're not getting that ball under there. Go get ghosts. Oh. Ella's calling you. He's running. He's like running. Hear that birdie? I 
Isn't it delicious? So yummy. You're messy. Stay here, Grayson. Stay what here. Doing, we can't go over there with that. Ella, don't drag that. Oh, yeah. Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday morning. I hope you guys have a fabulous Memorial Day. Um, we did. We had uh, Saturday. Robert and I went to Williamsburg for the day. Uh, we ended up finishing the day by eating at Captain George's Seafood, which is his favorite. Um, it's a waste for me because I can't eat big meals and that's like a buffet and it's like almost $50 and I, I eat one plate and I'm full. So he knew that going in. I was like, I'm not going to eat. And he was like, so we looked at like the individual like plate settings and it was t like $10 more to get the buffet. So we just did that and I just wasted his money because I have a hair on my lip. It's aggravating me um, because I did not eat more than a plate and like a little dessert. So not worth $50 for sure. And I feel like they changed the menu there too. It's not as good as it has been in years past. Um, I didn't have as many options or anything. I have on my earrings from Fashion, which are made from those rare golden straw um, or golden grasses. It's only found in one part of the world. Those are so cool. So I'm wearing those today. I have the same jewelry ensemble I've been wearing. I've been sleeping in it, being lazy. I did have a hard time getting up this morning because I've had off for five days and I've like slept in and stayed up late. And so I struggled to get up this morning, but I had to get into the office today. I could have worked from home, but, um, I have to get paperwork in because I made two placements, two of my guys got jobs, and I have to finish their references today. Um, I started them last week and didn't get them finished. Um, so I have to do all of those references, and each reference takes like 40 minutes, and I've got like nine left to do. No, I've got eight, seven, seven left to do. I think only one got done. I called and hadn't heard back from the others, likely because they were on like break already. Um, and then, yeah, and I got to turn the paperwork in so I get paid eventually. Um, what else? Sunday, yesterday we went over, you saw I went over to Kenzie's house with Grayson and he, Grayson was such a good boy. Well, first he slept for three hours when he came, I had him for an hour, which he like literally was tired, sleeping on my, almost sleeping on my lap watching Shrek. And then we, he slept for three hours and we went to Kenzie's house and we played in the pool with Ella. Then I was stranded there because uh, we forgot something at Williamsburg we bought. They had steam cleaners for the carpets that were $200 marked down to $59 for Memorial Day sale. And we had on Saturday told the ladies, or Sunday told the ladies that went aside from us, we'd come back and buy it before we left. And we left and we forgot to get it. So he drove all the way back out to Williamsburg to get it. I think he got more than one for like Christmas gifts for people too. And um, while he was doing that, I was at Kenzie's house with Grayson and then Grayson and Ella played and it was just a lot of fun. Um, Grayson pooped in the pool. That wasn't fun, it was disgusting. Um, and oh, and he says, he says more, I don't know if I told you now, but he makes a symbol when he's hungry and he's eating. He makes a symbol, I can't do it because I'm holding the phone, but he makes a symbol for the more sign, um, sign language and he goes more, more, it's so cute. And then yesterday he started growling at me. I guess he was hangry because he was going more. <laughs> it's so funny, boys are funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, so then Robert and I just came home and watched a movie last night. I was up a little bit later than I should have been. I'm tired and I woke up with a little bit swollen eyes this morning. Um, not just swollen under here, you can see. I mean, that'll that'll eventually go away, but swollen up here as well and a little irritated. I fell asleep last night with my makeup on and whatever I wore on my eyes like irritated my eyes to be on there overnight. So remember to wash my face before I fall asleep. I sometimes I'm taking those gummies that help me sleep and they knock me out and sometimes they knock me out before I get up and take care of my face and my makeup. So what I need to do 
is do all that first and then take my gummy because once they hit I'm not moving all right um I am going to I've got my coffee I'm at the office um I'm early I left the house a little bit early and I am going to watch my favorite YouTube videos. Um, I do have another vlog I'll probably get up. I put up one of the weekly vlogs and I have another one ready. It's only like 30 minutes. I might puff that one up this week too. I'm just trying to get us caught up on weeks so that you're living with the vlogs in real time since we are, the last vlog I did was like the last day of March and the first week of April. And I think, and it's May. Or maybe it was the last week of April, beginning of May. That's what it was. It was the last day of April, the beginning of May. So I'm like three weeks behind right now in the vlog. So we're going to be getting caught up. All right. I will see you guys a little bit later, probably after work, if anything is going on or happening. Um, I want to give you an update on where we're at with the garden in the backyard and um, this week. Um, and we hopefully Robert and I can get some wood chips back there this week and start to fill in the base area. Um, I may have him treat it for weeds first, and then we'll lay the stuff down. So, I've got to go, and I'll see you later. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. I came outside, and I've got some neat flowers blooming. I got some, I think what are called five-spot flowers that came in that have bloomed. Some little, maybe some type of cart chrysanthemum like little daisy type flowers and two beautiful beautiful poppies that are in like a lilac pink shade let me show you oh and these are doing great too these are the um, cherry rose nasturtiums and they are in bloom and doing fabulous and their leaf structure is so beautiful they just look like little lily pads um, just so beautiful so happy with that I'm gonna stick more of those just in the garden around. I also need to plant out these guys in some soil. These are the delphiniums and they're kind of stunted in growth because I haven't planted them. So I need to do that. All right, down here. Let me clean my screen. Hold on. All right. Unfortunately, the way that the color is, let me see if I can get in the shade. Oh, cause it's such a beautiful shade of light. It's like the lightest. Can you see it? It's like a light pink lilac shade. It is so, so, so pretty. And then there's a little fluffy pink one down here and there's a bunch more buds so I'm gonna let these I was gonna get ready to pull these out because they weren't doing anything now they are so I'm gonna leave them I also planted TJ's polka dot plants down here because they were dying so there's one there and they're doing better they've already improved in size one there and then there's one right there so those will fill in eventually but so excited to see these poppies and then over here i forgot i planted these um these are five spot flowers i actually was thinking these might be a weed when i forgot about them and they are white with five spots hence where they got their name so they are blooming and then these are the lupines uh, with also really neat just little structure on these plants and then here i'm not really sure what these are <laughs> I don't know if we planted these on purpose or if these were, I'm not sure. They might have just been little daisy flowers or a wildflower mix or something. So um, they're coming in. Um, yeah, so that is what we have going on today. Um, I just finished getting ready for work. Well, my face and makeup, I have hair and makeup. I have to get some clothes on because I'm I slept in these, so I will see you guys later. I just want to pop in and say hello and uh, making myself some tea. And then I gotta get ready for, I have to get to get working. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is um, evening time. It's after work. I just got home a little while ago. And I wanted to show you this beautiful lipstick. This, so my Aunt Janet sells this. This is Lip Sense. Um, and this is the type of lipstick that, um, it's supposed to last all day and you just refresh it with a little bit of gloss and then to take it off there's something called oops remover that you um take that you use to take off so i ordered she had for the holidays um a bogo sale and i'll link her information below if any of you want them why i like it is these stay on and they do not creep up into your lines like i have like little lines like vertical lines on my lip and they do not pop in the lines. They just stay put wherever you put it. So this color I'm wearing, 
Do you have a liner on? Whatever liner I had on all day today, I kept that on. It was actually, it's a Charlotte Tilbury Calla liner that I have on. So it's like a brown liner. Um, but this lipstick, I've had this color before and I really like it. This one is Caramel Apple. Um, so I got this. They had buy one, get one free. And then because I ordered two, they sent a mystery color. So I got Caramel Apple, which like I said, I've had before and I knew I loved. I haven't had this in a while. I also ordered the Oops Remover, which is $10, and this you just put it on, and it, it helps break it up and get it off your lips. Um, this one is pomegranate, I think. Hold on. Yeah, this one is pomegranate, so you can see the color between the two. Okay, so the first one's caramel apple that I have on, and the second one is pomegranate that's like got more of a corally, orangey, pink color. Um, staying with that same color family, then I got Plumeria. This is a much like a hot pink that's first. I thought it'd be nice for summer. And this coral one is called Salmon right here. Um, so that's a bright orange. I don't know if that, that might've been the one. And then I got Dawn Rising, which is a neutral, uh, neutral one. One of these was my free one. I don't remember which one was a free one. But anyway, before you use them, you shake them up, you put a thin layer on, you wait about 10 seconds, let that dry, put a second layer on, again, wait, let it dry. And I usually put three layers on. So you put two to three layers on. And then they do have their own gloss. Um, they have a glossy gloss, they have shimmery glosses. Uh, she sent me a sample of a matte gloss. Um, I typically um, do a shiny gloss or a glittery gloss. I did not buy any gloss. I just used one of my own glosses that I had. So, um, but my aunt Janet, um, is Janet Bowmaster. I'll have all of her stuff, her info below if you guys want to order, um, or just join her Facebook group if you're looking and waiting for sales. Cause she, um, she has a Facebook group page and she will post sales of her product. Her and I, um, are real close. We used to do the pearls together back in the day and we worked together. And then when we both left the pearl company, which is now closed down, uh, although I just ordered some stuff from a company called Papa Pearl. It's not in here right now though. Um, and I got, I ha I'll have to show you these. You can see the pretty pearl colors that I've got. Um, I just ordered some things from them and it was a lot of fun. I actually looked into, I really liked how they did theirs. Um, and I looked into joining their company, but they're just an individual business. You can't, there's something on my screen. Sorry, hold on. I got to get off. Um, you can't, um, there we go. You can't join their business. It's just like the owner, she does parties online and it's just her own, her own, her, her company. And she's doesn't have any independent reps. So, um, anyway, so I played a game and I got, um, to pick 15, Oyster, like these plastic oysters and then there were chips inside and some of the chips said sterling silver cage um, I got four sterling silver cages and then one of them was like chip money chip money is five dollars and when you get that you can actually add another oyster like add another um, plastic oyster that they opened to see if you got so I ended up with four silver sterling silver cages and one or and four pearls and I got a black lavender, a, a black, a pink, um, what else do I have? Black, purple, pink, and peach are the colors that you can kind of see them there through that I ended up with. Really beautiful, but there's also like really like, like teals and yellows and like really neat pearl colors that are not necessarily, they're dyed um, pearls. I'm wearing pearls today. I've got coin pearls in my ears today. And then I've just got a, um, a, a simple pearl here from Anna Luisa. And then I've got my Kendra Scott, which is mother of pearl. So um, I love pearls. I think they are extremely flattering on a lot of people. So I will show you that another time. I don't feel like pulling all that out right now. Um, I just got home, I'm gonna have some tea and relax and then I'm gonna go outside and water everything. We're supposed to get some a lot of rain next week, but we I didn't water my plants yesterday because we were supposed to get a big thunderstorm. We had the lightning, we had the thunder, and then the rain missed us. So I'm gonna go out there and water everything in just a little bit. That's probably gonna take a while. Um, we had ended up having to move my one planter over to the side because it was not, it was, the wind was like 50, 60 miles an hour and it was gonna ruin 
it was going to destroy that um, tomato plant. So I have to do that. I think I also may plant a couple of my dahlia tubers that came in. They're well beyond the time that I have supposed to have been planted them. I'm going to plant them directly in the ground because of the weather we've been having. I'm not going to like pre-start them. So that's my plan for the rest of the day. Uh, Robert, it is 530. Robert should be here any time. I talked to him at 4 and he was heading over to feed the cats in the alley and then he's coming here. Um, I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet. And uh, I just let all the dogs out, and now Nitro and Dixie want to go out again. So, all right, I'm getting ready to go and to get that stuff done and get my tea, and I will see you, friends, later on. Hope you had a good week. Good morning, friends. I'm getting ready to plant a few flowers over here. I thought I'd show you what we're doing. Um, this is just going up my deck here. I have this beautiful petunia and I loved this color. This is the bees knees petunia and it's been out front and needs to get planted. So I figured we would do that, but look at how beautiful these like lemon flowers are. I just thought they were so cheery. And beautiful. I've got a Dusty Miller that's going to go in here for a little bit of a cooler tone. And then this plant is a citronella plant to keep the bugs away. It smells like citronella and it's got the most beautiful blooms with the purple and the white. Oh, I just thought it was so pretty and it's so beautiful and it will keep help keep the mosquitoes at bay. Um, I'm going to turn it this way because that's where the beautiful blooms are. Look at that with the yellow and the yellow. This yellow will trail down and then this will mound up a little bit. So I don't know how tall this gets. Let's see. And this says mosquito away angel pelagoni pel pelargonium. Okay. You can see it was $12.98. Um, it says, uh, let's see if it tells me the height here. Well-drained, light, well-ventilated spot. Indoors are out. Blooms from April to October, and it gets 16 inches high. So it's probably maybe going to get a little bit taller, but not much. I'm going to go ahead and plant these. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, guys, here we are. I've got to water it. Let me clean my screen off. There we go. All right, so the Dusty Miller will fill in this corner. Um, we've got the Bee's Knees Petunia. I love it, so cheery. And that's going to, you can see it's already starting. It is going to trail down and fill in the side. And then the star, our um, beautiful, beautiful mosquito away plant. I love, love how beautiful. Now I may still get like a little bit of a, like some small flowers right in here. Um, something really short. I'm gonna have to see about that, but I don't need to. This will fill in. Honestly, these tunias, petunias will go this way. They'll go this way. Uh, the only place it might need something else is right here. We'll see how big this guy gets, but I'm gonna give him um, some time to do his thing before deciding if I put something else in here. I'm just gonna water these guys in. I did, oh, let me grab it over this way. I did add in a little bit of um, some plant food and you want to you want to do this in the morning early morning or at night and you want to water at the roots if you can and try not to water from the top and get your plant all wet but watering it right away gives it a drink it also helps avoid any air pockets it'll kind of fill in any of the air pockets so we're just going to give that a really good drink I think this actually has a water reservoir in it as well below it so if there's any extra water it will just store it down there i think i got these two little containers there's two of them and they came from um amazon um they were super easy to put together i could do it so um, no tools were needed everything just sort of snapped in place um, so i will give you guys updates on how this looks as it fills in but i'm happy with it already i could link those those for you in case you want to do something like this there's two so you could we didn't have wood here i could technically put one there and have them kind of flanking the entrance of our deck um i may still do that if robert ever moves that wood i, I don't know what i'm doing with the other one yet or where i'm putting it um, the other thing is robert's working on building this but he put my arch up and i could put it 
I could put one over there too, but I still have a whole nother um, empty container over there I need to fill in. And um, I'm gonna have him weed whack and we might be able to get the some of the mulch down this weekend. But we'll see because, um, and excuse my appearance, I've got a little breakout going on. Um, we'll see because we're taking the kitty that feral kitty's gonna go to her, his forever home this tomorrow. So we shall see. I also had two poppies bloom that they, they've been blooming a couple every day. They're so pretty. Let me show you. There's another one starting. So we have this gorgeous little, well, you can't even see it because it's like, it's white and the orange. Aren't they beautiful? They're like little paper cups. They're so pretty. Um, we ha already had a pink one and a lilac, just a variety of colors in this mix. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like there's another little baby one starting here. And then I have these little five spots that are coming up in here, along with some Creeping Jenny, which I think I'm gonna take the Creeping Jenny out. I need to refill this container. I need to fill this container up. As you can see, it's got, I need, it needs more soil and then fill it. So I think I'm gonna transplant the items that are in here just into the main garden bed, or maybe move them into down by the actual garden, like these little four o'clocks. I don't, I might move those. Um, they almost look like a weed, almost. And when they open up, they've got five, this one was yesterday's bloom. They're just beginning to open. They're very delicate. Um, but they got five little purple spots on them. That's where they got their name five spot. And then the lupines aren't loving it here. Um, so I might move these, see if they don't like to be moved either. They'll probably die when I move them. And then not really sure what these are. Maybe a little wildflower or something. And I see a strawberry, a couple strawberries. A couple strawberries and there's another one. These are little strawberries, but strawberries. All right guys, so anyway, good morning. It's Saturday morning. I've got a lot to do today. I'm going to, on my list of things to do is to get my clothes away that are down here. I have to put them away. Oh. I have to film a trunk club, which will be my last trunk club video, as well as um, a stitch fix, because tomorrow we're going to drive in to deliver the cat. Um, I'd like to get the stuff put outside. I have some more plants to put out this weekend, as well as the um, start to put the wood chips around that area and kind of, you know, finalize it. I've got two sunflower like solar lights that I absolutely love and they work there on the deck um, and they're beautiful. I've got four of them and they're going to, two of them at least are going down there. I may just stick two up on the deck. I was so happy with them. I might stick them in a container. Um, I'm going to also film my getting ready this morning and I'm going to hop in the shower fix the mess of my hair and do a face look. I did get some new stuff in from, oh, where is right now? From, um, oh, right down here. I got two, two, well, I'll show you what I got. I'll just show you this little thing. Hold on. Okay, so this is what I got from Sephora recently. I'm gonna light this candle right now. This is the Kalahari Watermelon, and these Voluspa candles are my favorite, and I keep the jars and use them as vases after I'm done for flowers, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful jars they have. I almost like feel like I'm paying for the jar, and then, then the rest is just, um, enjoying the candle is just wonderful. Um, I think this was on sale. This was an Hourglass Confession Refillable Lipstick Duo, and it says Ghost. Uh, Cherish and You Inspire are the two colors, so I'll probably use those today. I'm not going to open this because they're sending me a new one. This one came in completely broken. Um, I mean, it's powder, but Benefit came out with these new blushes. This is the Krista color, and I was going to try it today, but it is broken in pieces. We have the new Pillow Talk Dreams um, palette, and I am super excited. I might try that today. Plus, also, I have the new Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Also, you can see my box got beat up, but I checked it. It's fine. In the color 2 Medium, and I'm going to definitely try that. I have this beautiful palette by Violet Voss, which I'll show you, and then I have this, in fact, I'll bring these up here and show you these two, two new things here. Um, I love, well, that's another thing. I have to clean this off as well. Um, all my little stuff is here. So that's also on my list of things to do. But let me open these and I'll show you this blush. I absolutely love Hourglass blushes. It's They're very finely milled 
really quite beautiful um, luminous flush is the color and I'll open this palette sweet violet and I'll show you this too um, these well I could use this today this blush um, but I probably I don't know if I'm gonna use this today I'll probably use the Charlotte Tilbury one since I'm gonna use the also her bronzer and make make it a Charlotte Tilbury video I have Charlotte Tilbury lipstick as well so but let's open these up all right here we are this is the violet boss I think it's sweet violet fun sized palette and these are the colors um i might be able to film with this tomorrow um but i'm definitely using the charlotte tilbury's today or maybe i'll use this today in charlotte tomorrow i don't know but we're going to use these a lot of fun shades in here very exciting a lot of dark deepening shades as well so I think it's going to be a, a fun palette to play with. And then the Luminous Flush Blush. Look how beautiful. Like, this is the mini size. I have several of the Hourglass Blushes. Well, I don't have as many as I would like. But I definitely love them and recommend them if you're looking for a really nice, smooth blush that's going to give your skin a nice flush with a little tiny hit, hint of luminosity and something that doesn't exaggerate pores. Um, you really can't get in trouble with this no matter how much you put on. It just always looks good. <laughs> so um, one of the best blushes around that I have ever tried are the, are the hourglass ones. I'm always so happy with these. All right, well, that's that. So, so that is my plan today. So I'm going to hop in the shower here in a moment. I just got, you know, finished planting that plant out there. I got dirt underneath my nails. And um, I also might stop, oops, stop at the store. I, I think I need a couple more plants. I definitely need some border plants up front. I need to work on the border up front and on the side, but um, you know, all in time. I, I, I'm trying to like, want it all filled. I have um, calla lilies I need to plant. Actually, I thought maybe I could plant them in that planter you just saw or, or the other planter or down by the thing, and I've got some daylily, or um, some, um, not daylilies, dahlias. I have dahlia tubers, a lot of them, and I need to find little homes for them, so I'm going to plant, I'm going to kind of plant those around the yard as well. Um, oh, anyway, that is my plan for today. A lot of planting, a lot of filming. Uh, I have to clean up all my clothes down here and put them away. Um, the rug is clean. We've seen clean the rug and vacuumed it. I've got dishes to do, laundry to do. Just a lot of cleaning up and planting and delivering the cat and it'll be a busy weekend i don't think i have any kids this weekend so i'll be able to hopefully get my stuff done all right guys next time i see you i won't look like this all right guys this is the, the like eight or nine year old feral kitty that had a bad leg and he is getting ready to be transported i got a gizzy right here inspecting life what's going on you're gonna i know you you'll hiss at him anyway um he is going to his forever mama today Let's see if he'll let me pet him good boy good boy he's such a good little cat for being feral he lets us pet him and he's just a good boy he's done so well and his legs all healed up now he almost lost it um they basically, there you go, buddy. They basically told us if the last treatment didn't work, they were gonna have to amputate and uh, it worked. And he's doing really, really good. So he's going to his forever farm. We had to go live on a farm and be a farm cat. Um, so this is it. We're gonna say goodbye to little buddy. We got about an hour ride. You guys look at these two love birds. Now this big orange guy, he is fixed. Um, <laughs> there's cats everywhere they're waiting for food there's like they're everywhere robert's upstairs um mixing some food look at those two little lovey doveys they've been like cuddling and walking together since i got here come here babies i don't know where the babies are there are babies somewhere we're not really sure where they're at he's coming for food that black guy this one um, I think, oh, she's fixed too. So that one's fixed. It's the one itching himself fixed. That one's fixed. We're trying to get them as many fixed as we can. Oh, well, hello there. 
There's kitties everywhere. There's kitties everywhere. Those two are a couple. Like, I mean, look at this. They love each other. They are like, they won't leave each other alone. People are like getting out of their way. They're bonded or something. She's probably in heat. Oh, she just looks like she just had a baby. I think all the babies have been born, but we don't know where they're at. They're hiding them. They're probably in the um, abandoned buildings, but we just don't know. Those two are funny. Oh my goodness. Lovey doveys. <laughs> like pushing each other. What are you two doing? This one, Robert can pet when he feeds them. He's a big boy. Oh, I thought you were gonna come by me. No, okay. He heard the door, I think, opening. The food's coming, the food's coming. Are you hungry? All right, guys, well, we just um, delivered the cat to its new home and put the cat in the catio. Um, and Lady of the Beautiful Farm, um, she used to work for Rescue, and she has four indoor cats and one semi-feral um, outdoor cat. And she had goats and chickens and a rooster, and um, it was a really peaceful, peaceful area for the the cat to live out the rest of his days so we are so happy that he has a home uh, he still has a little bit of a boo-boo on his paw like um, that needs healing she's going to give him some more care and that's veteran parking and that's pickup so but right here um oh there's people there anyway all right i just wanted to pop in so we're, we're on the way home but we're stopping at home depot i'm gonna go look at some plants most of my containers are done i'll show you when we get home but i have a few more to do and i need some compost i'll see you guys later